and two ambassadors, including Meg Whitman of the U.S. and Luke Williams of Australia, who is the Australia High Commissioner to Kenya, have toured base Titania mining site to see the progress of the mining, even as the company prepares to fold up. A reporter Tobias Chanji has been in that itinerary and captured the following. best titanium at Msambwen in Kwale County, even the best titanium company waits for the nod from the government to extend their mining operations. And today there was a delegation that toured in this mining site that included a delegation from the USA led by Ambassador Meg Whitman and her Australian counterpart Luke Williams. And this is what the general manager Simon Wall of best titanium had to say. Um, today we have the great honour and privilege of hosting members of the Nairobi diplomatic community, um, Her Excellency the Ambassador to the United States um, and His Excellency the High Commissioner from Australia have both paid us um, a visit today to come and see our operations, see the work we're doing um, with our mining operations, our mineral production um, and of course to have a look at and see for themselves the uh, rehabilitation we're doing of previously mined out areas. Um, it's been a wonderful visit. Um, I think it's a, it's a testament. We thank them dearly and greatly for the, the time they've offered for us today to come and see us. And uh, I think it's a, a testament to sort of BASE's reputation um, and the work we're doing here that we were uh, able to host this visit this afternoon. Uh, do you think this is a confidence nod for the extension of the mining process? Uh, look, the, the, to be clear, we, we have no, no mining extension uh, requests in, in at the moment. Um, base is currently mining. I think it's common knowledge that as we currently stand here today, uh, mining operations will cease at the back end of 2024, um, November, December-ish, uh, and that we're currently undertaking exploration work in an area called Kuala East um, to see if we can identify new minerals to mine that will allow us to extend the mine life beyond December 2024. Um, at that, this stage, that exploration work is continuing. Overwhelming support from the uh, local community um, and the leadership of Kuala to undertake that exploration and we're still a number of uh, weeks if not months away from determining whether uh, exploration will lead to mine life extension. As we embark on the last stage, what is happening currently? Yeah, it's a really good question. The focus as we head to the back end of 2024 at the moment is clearly to ensure that rehabilitation is carried out um, to absolute world best standards um, and we're very proud of the exploration work or the rehabilitation work we're doing at the moment. Um, some parts of the mi previously mined out areas you would go and see and you would not believe if someone told you it used to be a mine site. Um, we're also shifting our focus and attention towards mine closure planning um, and the like in the event that, that closure happens at the back end of next year. This is an um, important process. Um, it's exceptionally important to ensure that we execute on mine closure with a degree of um, excellence in the same way we have done the construction and commissioning of this project and the operations of this project to really complete a full mine life cycle um, to the highest standards possible. Best Titanium is Kenya's largest mining project with three elements of minerals being mined here and those minerals are Illuminate, Rutile and uh, Zircon and the Best Titanium management is upbeat that explorations in other areas will bear fruits. Tobias Chanji, KTN News, Kuala County. Right, and that report from Kuala County, Texas, to our first commercial break right here at KTN News Desk. Don't go too far, we still have plenty more coming up. Stay with us.